There's a ton of lava shader tutorials out there, but what if we made stylized lava? The files on Patreon for free if you want to check it out. All right, we're going to start off by just deleting everything in our scene and we're going to replace it if I do shift A with a sphere, which we'll use to more easily transition from white to yellow to red. And I'm going to right click it and shade smooth before transitioning over into our shader editor. All right. Now let's go ahead and make a new material. <laughs> I'm just going to call it whatever. And we don't really need this principled shader. And instead, what we're going to do is press shift A and search for a noise texture, which we're going to go ahead and connect to a color ramp. And we'll go ahead and connect all of that up to an emission shader. And if you connect all that up and you go ahead and put it into your output, you can see that we get a very weird uh, noise texture effect. This is going to be like the dark red lava part. So we're going to pick a dark red. I'm just eyeballing it here. You can pick any color or copy the hex <laughs> numbers if you want. And I don't know, we don't really want it to be hugging the edge. So I'm going to put it at around 0.75 to get a little bit more of the dark in. And we're going to go to the other side and make that a bright red and put it at around 0.25 just to create a little bit more contrast. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now once we're satisfied with that, we're going to make a frame and just dump it all in there. Okay, cool. Now we can just select all of it and press Shift D to duplicate it. Yeah, I think I wanna swap the dark and bright colors around. So I'm gonna put the bright at around 0.75 and the dark around 0.25 because if we change the color to a bright yellow color and then we connect it up to our output, we can see that we sort of have a bright yellow lava effect. So again, we're just gonna get everything, shifty to duplicate it, move it a little bit up, and this time, we're gonna move the red all the way to the corner and make sure it's bright white. And the yellow, I'll move somewhere around 0.50, I think will look good. And lastly, we'll just delete our noise texture since we don't need it anymore, and we'll bump the FAC all the way up to one. Now, if we connect it, <laughs> you'll notice that uh, it doesn't really look like anything, right? It's just pure white. And that's because we need to add a geometry node. Very confusing name. And we'll connect that up to a separate XYZ node. And more specifically, we want to connect the normal up to the vector. And lastly, we're going to just add uh, <laughs> another color ramp, which we'll connect the Z coordinate up to. And lastly, we're just going to swap places between the black and the white. So the black's going to be all the way on the right, and the white is going to be around 0.75. Uh, okay, the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to add a mix shader, and we're simply going to connect all our dots here, including the one that we just made. And if we connect it to our output, we can see that we get a white top and a sort of yellow middle, right? Uh, but we're not getting the dark red on the bottom yet. To do that, we're simply gonna duplicate the frame that we just made, and we're gonna change the white value here to something like 0.25, I think. And now, again, we just add a mix shader, and we're gonna connect the bottom one and the top one that we just made. And there we go. <laughs> Put that together, and you get a nice stylized uh, lava effect that transitions from white to yellow to red. You definitely want to shade smooth all of your objects, or at least make sure that they have a smooth transition between the top and bottom. I think the best thing you can do is just play around with this and figure out what the limitations are with a shader. Um, <laughs> that's it. Get out of here. Shoo. <laughs>